welcome April Ray here, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mobile Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, Happy New Year. It's uh, January, I believe, the 16th. It's Monday, Martin Luther King holiday. Um, and it's been a long time since I've done an actual face-to-face, on-camera, head-bobbing video. And let me just say 2016 was a very, it was an interesting year. I get a lot of consensus that a lot of people went through a lot of struggles and there was some some trials and tribulations and I can attest to some of that as well but I can also attest that I had some major gains in my business. I started another business added to my portfolio of income streams and um, that was amazing meeting the new people involved in that and it was just really exciting. Um, towards the end of the year, however, the little tribulation started happening. Personally, um, I got sick. I got, it started off with just a cold um, that seemed like it just sat in my chest for weeks and weeks and weeks and I'm coughing and coughing and the, as soon as I told a friend who had had asked me, you know, oh, how's your cold? How are you doing? I said, oh yeah, I'm feeling better. My cold, the cough seems to be subsiding. The very next day, my cold turned into the flu, a full-blown flu. Now, I've, I don't think I have, I've had the flu since I was a little girl. Um, no, I don't take the flu shot. Um, usually I'm taking care of myself, but I have to admit that I had not throughout the whole year of 2016, probably the last two years, I wanna say, I have not taken any vitamins. Um, I used to be a very into you know supplementation because you don't get it in your foods. I've been eating crap um, just because I've been running around and ripping and running and, and just really not taking care of myself. So the last couple of months of, of 2016, I don't know about you, but when I'm sick, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm not trying to talk about my business. Uh, I'm not blogging. I'm not doing anything. I have no inspiration. I have no motivation. I just want to lay there when I get home or when I, whatever it is that I'm doing for the day. I just, you know, it, I just don't have any kind of inclination to, to do anything. Um, <laughs> I was going to go, I was going to say something else, but yeah, that's TMI. But, um, and so, and I still have a little bit of the um, cough left over from the flu <clears throat> it's taking forever to go away my husband also got sick i mean it's just been crazy but i can say all that and say this um even through all of that where i wasn't working my business at all for a couple of months my business was still producing i was still getting leads i was still getting sales i was still getting signups because i had set up my brand I had a brand and I was blogging and I'm getting leads from blogs that I did way back in the beginning of the year. So there's something to be said for creating your online brand, which includes having a website that's branded to you, that talks about your passions, not just your business, but you want to add your passions so you have more to talk about than just business. And believe me, it'll be working for you 24 seven. You can create a blog post a year from now and you'll start getting leads um, on it in, in a few months and you'll just continue to get leads from that one blog post. And, and I'm, when I say blogging, I'm not just talking about, you know, you go to blogger.com and you create your free account and just start talking about anything. I'm talking about strategic blogging for people who are in business, preferably, uh, not preferably, but mostly um, network marketers, direct sellers, realtors, um, because th those blog posts, like I said, are working for you 24 seven, even when you don't feel like doing anything, you're still getting leads from that blog. And obviously that when you're blogging, you should have your autoresponder. So there's a lot of little components that goes along with blogging. Um, and having a website, like I said, not just from a free account, but having your own branded, hosted, self-hosted website that's branded to you. Because people really don't do business with businesses. They want to do business with people, people they, that they can know, like, and trust. Now people say, well, I have, you know, I have Facebook, social media, I can just do stuff on there. You can, that's true, but that stuff isn't going to, you're not going to get a lead from a blog, po I mean, from a Facebook post that you posted a year ago. Um, you might, somebody might 
find it and like it, but more than likely you're not going to get a lead from it, right? So um, social media can't be trusted. I'm sorry. Yes, it's a great place to prospect. Um, it's a great place to market um, and to get people to kind of see you. But when it comes down to it, you want to have your own branded blog. Okay. So the, and uh, I call it blog strategic blogging or blogging on purpose. And there's certain elements to a blog post that creates um, traffic and leads to whatever it is that you're marketing or selling or signups for your direct sales business or for your realtor or business or whatever. It's, it's, I, I, if I hadn't known how important it is to have something like that working for you when you're sick, I know it now. Because when I got sick, like I said, I did not want to do anything. Thank goodness I had set up my brand beforehand, and now it's working for me. And so I'm going to be talking a lot about that in 2017 and, and helping people create a, a blog that actually serves I mean, it's twofold. It's serving the purpose of your reader and you at the same time. So it's a give and take. You're not just taking, you know, especially if you're in your direct sales, it kind of gets, um, I don't know, for me, the idea of always trying to get somebody, trying to tackle somebody and sign up for my business and join my team. And there's more to business. It, that's what a distributor does. That's not what a business owner does. And I want to talk to people who want to be business owners who are choosing the network marketing uh, business model, um, but they want a more efficient, uh, more fun way to build your business and have your business working for you and you're living that true laptop lifestyle. Let me tell you, as the introvert <laughs> um, mogul, I got online because I did not want to have to do the traditional um, um, traditional network marketing uh, strategies that I was being taught. And a lot of my, and even in the business that I am now, it is a network marketing business, they are very traditional. They are very all about traveling all over the city in your town and building your, up your town and talking to your friends and family. And you know, you got to make sure that they sign up, no wonder, and if they do it, have them do it as a favor to you. And it's really all the very old school type training. And most network marketing companies are going to teach you that because that's the easiest thing to teach but it's not the most constructive. It's not leveraging your time. When you talk to people who have got some success in their network marketing business and they did it through the traditional means, it, you hear a lot about the struggle. Oh, it was hard and people drop out and you're going here and you're running there. I never saw my kids. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to not see your kids and your family anymore. You can truly run your business from your laptop and you can have your business working for, for you while you're on vacation. Okay, while you're, if you're sick, if you're, you know, you don't feel like doing anything that day, your business can still be working for you. So you want to leverage the internet. And I don't just mean social media marketing. A lot of times I would talk to people in my network marketing company and they say, well, online marketing doesn't work, but they really have no idea what online marketing is. When I say, when they say think online marketing, they think social media marketing. And really that's not even marketing, that's prospecting. Social media marketing is mainly prospecting, and most people don't even do that right. Okay, there, and I won't even go into that, but that's going to be the topic of my discussion for the rest of 2017 because I think it's a really, really important thing, and it's going to help give people an alternative to how they build their business, and it's going to be in a way that they love and they enjoy doing. Because if you're in a business and, and it's a, a drudgery for you, if you don't enjoy doing what you're doing, then you might as well just get a second job because it's not worth it. It's not worth having to um, cry you know, every day because you're so exhausted and you don't feel like you're, you know, you feel like you're just take, take, taking from people to try and get them to sign up for your business. It, when I talk about uh, attraction marketing, when I talk about branding you, this kind of business is um, so much more fulfilling. People are coming to you instead of you having to chase them. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there because my dog's crying and I need to take him out. <laughs> So um, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, iMogul Television or iMogul TV. Um, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm talking about a lot about blogging and really helping people understand how to create a blog and how to create a blog post, how to, how to do it in a way that's fun and exciting for you. 
All right, so once again, thank you so much for joining me. Happy New Year and um, to much success to you and your family. All right, bye-bye for now.